Jordan decided to help you guys impress your friends by making them a cool breakfast so they can talk about how good of a chef you are, and it went something like guys, this. I forgot about my bread, and so it kind of burned. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, and this is my channel, Jasmine Mihu. Um, it is currently 8.32, and I woke up early so that we can make brunch together. Um, technically, it'd be breakfast, but I don't really like breakfast that much, so I decided we could make brunch. Um, I'm also trying to fix my messy butt at the same time. So, um, yeah, let's get into making brunch, but first, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Oh, if you didn't just hit that subscribe button, I actually really would. Oh, and yeah, let's get into the video. So, I want to teach you guys how to make the fanciest brunch you'll ever make in your entire life. You can make this for your friends. Um, Actually, hopefully your friends have low standards because this ain't something you'll find at like a New York City restaurant, but like it's a step up from McDonald's. So we're gonna make some bruschettas with some avocado salad to go on the side, which I mean, that sounds pretty fancy, doesn't it? The first thing I would do is I would get your bread out. Um, I use sourdough bread. <laughs> Just kidding, this isn't a cooking channel, so um, use whatever kind of bread you want. And basically, since we're making brunch, um, yeah. I cut the pieces of bread in half because they're really big. Jasmine, you didn't cut the piece of bread. You tore it in half with your fingers. Here you have your bread on your cookie tray. It looks all nice. And you're going to just get some butter now. The butter I literally just cut, like, I don't even measure it. Wow, I'm a really good, like, host because I don't even measure my stuff. And I'll just, like, put that in there. What, what, what kind of cutting was that? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Okay, anyway. But like, I guess like that much. You're just gonna melt it. And then you're gonna take this fancy brush and you're gonna brush the melted butter on your toast. Wait, it's not toast yet. It's still bread on your bread. <laughs> okay, so while I'm brushing my toast in butter, very healthy, I figured I would answer the questions that you guys had for me. So one of your guys' top questions is how old I am. I'm 19. Everybody thought I was like 16 or something. I get that a lot. But no, I'm 19. I'm going into my second year of college. And yeah, um, okay, I need more. I ran out of butter. Wow, this cooking adventure is going so good. So I guess you do need more butter than what I originally put in. I'm shook. I, I never in a million years thought that I would need more butter than what I originally put in. So like, this is, this is crazy news to me. So the microwave's in the background, but we're just gonna flip these babies over because the other side needs to be buttered too so that they can become like crispy. Okay, so you're gonna continue buttering the other side now that you've flipped it over. Oh, my oven's yelling at me. Let's see what's going on. Push. There. Okay, I moved you over here because the light is so much better before my oven yelled at me. Brushing the butter on my bruschettas. We haven't got that stuff yet. But um, another question that you guys had for me was, is it hard being a YouTuber, TikToker, I'm not really a YouTuber, but like, is it hard being on TikTok and YouTube and worrying about people judging you? Or like, how did I get over um, worrying about like the judgment of other people? And that is a really good question because honestly, um, yeah, it was hard. I was worried at the beginning, like, what if people don't like my videos? Um, what if people don't like my TikToks? Will they like make fun of me, whatever? And yeah, you get like a lot of like, hate sometimes like i think the bigger you grow the more hate you get why would i ever watch her just stuff like that and it like kind of hurts you but then i realized that other people's opinions don't don't matter i still have my own worth and other people's opinions don't define my worth oh so, yeah it was like hard at the beginning but now i really don't care i want to live my life um how i want to live my life and i don't let other people stand in the way of that thank you for coming to my soap soapbox is that what it's called when you like preach i don't know okay anyway my oven is heated up now um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat your oven up to 500 to broil i should have told you to do that before um you can obviously tell i'm not a cooking channel but um you're gonna have your breads and you're gonna put them in and then they're just gonna become like really really crispy you know so after we're gonna do this, now we're gonna make the um, cheese topping. Okay, so now while they're in the oven, you're gonna get your favorite cheeses. My favorite cheeses are Parmesan and feta. And I made up this um, recipe on the top of my head, so if it's nasty, I apologize. I think it's good, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. So after you got your favorite cheeses, you're gonna go and add some milk. And then you're gonna have a bowl, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put as much as you want of your favorite cheeses in your bowl. So, 
Okay, that's a good amount. And then I'm gonna put my feta and my melt. At this point, you've gotten your favorite cheeses and a spoon in your bowl. And now we're gonna add the milk. Added the milk, it looks like this. And guys, I forgot about my bread, and so it kind of burned. Rip. It's not that burned, like, it's still plenty edible, but like, you wanna take it out a little before this point. Then you're gonna add a little bit of butter to the mixture. Now it's my favorite point where you're going basil picking because you'll need basil for this. The basil plant, you're just gonna pick your favorite pieces of basil from it. Just kidding, I didn't even pick any. Okay. Always, always wash your basil every single time. Okay, my hair's getting crazier by the minute. And then you're gonna put it in your mixture. It is, and now I'm going to put my mixture on my bread. Hi, so I told you guys we were gonna make an avocado salad too, but um, I checked my fridge and we have a total of zero avocados. So the avocado salad won't work today. But I will make another video where I'm making avocado salad because I know you'll wanna see that. So essentially when you're done, this is how your fancy breakfast looks. I know, very impressive. Um, you can make this for your friends and impress them and pretend like you're a gourmet chef because they'll love that. I'm going to go and eat my toast. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you made it all the way through, I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week.